Figured I'd go ahead and do this video. I didn't really do it when I first put the automatic door in um, because I didn't have the battery. It doesn't come with the battery. You got to order them. I put the link in the original video. I'll put the link down below. So this is the remote for the automatic chicken coop door. It's got this little slide thing here where you have to slide it down to expose the buttons was there's an up down and a stop the other one's unused anyways once you get the battery in there you go down to the uh door and there is a learn button you press the learn button then you press any button on the remote it learns the key code of the remote and then it works so i'll go down here now i'm getting ready to check on the chickens and make sure they made it in for the night and I'm going to use this to actually close the door. Uh, of course, it's going to get dark down here. But yeah, this works really well. So as you know, I've been coming down every night because I want to make sure the chickens are in. Go ahead and check around here, inside here. Gonna check down around here. As you can see, they are all in. Okay, so let me actually set this up here for a minute. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Or maybe not. Hold on just a minute. Gonna have to bear with me a minute. So basically I'm standing outside. You can see I've got the door open there and I'm gonna hit close. So you can see the door closing. And that's all there is to it. I closed it with the remote. Anyways. Get this light shut off. Get back up here. Got to hook up the electric fence. Um, so, yeah, I think that the remote is going to be a really nice addition. And one of the things that I liked about this whole package when I bought it was the fact it came with a remote. Hold on just a minute. I know you guys probably get mad at me whenever I do these videos late at night. What the sky looks like tonight. Isn't that crazy? I'm supposed to be getting some rain here any minute. But uh, back to this remote. See if I can get up here. Well, let me get in the house and wear some light. All right, so here's the remote that comes with it. It comes with two. It's got this little protective cover, which I think is just pretty cool. That keeps That's so that if you have this remote in your pocket, you don't accidentally inadvertently open or close. The chicken coop door so you can kind of see there there's an up and a down there's a stop over here and then this one is unused but it's uh worked really well you just saw me use it literally the very first time so earlier today i put the battery in it it takes an oddball battery let me show you those these are the batteries that it takes they are a l828 12 volt battery 27a um, they are about half the length of a triple a battery and about the same diameter uh, just a little slide area here on the back of the remote where you slide it open just like any other type of remote the battery goes in there really simple to put in uh, really simple to set it up and I think it's a really nice addition to that chicken coop door. So, again, I think it's a great system. All the issues that I've had with this automatic chicken coop door is because of the location of my chicken coop and the fact that the sun is blocked uh, <clears throat> by some trees in the house in the early spring and late fall. And that's just kind of an issue I knew I was going to have because I had the exact same problem with the electric fence that's out there. 
So I have relocated the solar panel. Um, I think today's the third or fourth day since I relocated the solar panel that it has worked without issues. Um, the first time it only lasted four days on the battery before the battery went dead. So I think that if I get up tomorrow and the battery's not dead, then that's another problem that's solved. But uh, again, that's not a fault of the automatic chicken coop door. That's a fault with the location of my chicken coop. So been a great system, works reliably. Always opens when you set it to open, always closes when you set it to close. Now I've actually been closing this manually each night for the last, however, what's it been now? Two weeks? Let's see, I put the chickens out there, I think it was last week. And then today's Friday, so yeah, I think it's been about two weeks. Um, pretty close to two weeks. Anyways, I've been checking on the chickens every night. Instead of letting the door automatically close, simply because the chickens, you know, generally uh, occasionally will get confused and they don't go in. But in all honesty, from the, I think it's the third night, they've gone in every night on their own. I never have to catch them and put them in there since the third night. Anyways, I'll go ahead and leave links to these batteries and also this chicken coop automatic door. I'll also leave links to the other video where I installed it that has all the additional stuff that I bought um, which included like the extension cord for the solar panel so I can move it farther away from the chicken coop also a, a secondary battery so I can always keep one on a battery charger in case the one out there actually goes bad or goes dead even though the solar panels move farther away and you know these are all things that I bought when I actually bought the door. So I knew I was going to have issues with this and prepared for it from the beginning. So it's not a big deal. As far as like the functionality of the door, it works great. And I'm surprised I went, what is it, eight or nine years without one. Um, that's kind of how it goes. When they first come out, when those automatic chicken coop doors first come out, I thought they were a gimmick. But uh, now that I've used one, uh, when I was helping the neighbors take care of their chickens, now that I have one myself, I definitely see the positive uh, to having them, which is greater security for your chickens while they are asleep in the coop at night. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.